My name is Jacob Hepner. I'm from Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, most of you don't know me as a shooter. I'm primarily a CrossFit Games athlete. I've been to the CrossFit Games uh, five times and been doing CrossFit since 2012. Uh, in 2020, it was kind of my last year competing. It was kind of a weird year because of COVID. I decided, you know what? There are some other things in the space, in the fitness industry, I think I'd like to try. Some other things I'd like to try and just attempt. One of them being the tactical games. What drew me is it's a good mixture of fitness and firearms in my idea. It's a good mixture, not only for people who lives depend on the firearms, but it's a good actual test for stress shooting. Like, not many times do you pull out a gun to defend yourself where your heart rate's at 40 beats per minute, right? It's always spiked, you're always doing something. And so from my perspective, um, because it mixed fitness and firearms, I was obviously great at one piece of the pie, and that was the fitness side. So for me it was, okay, I'm fantastic at 50% of what they're offering, I've gotta learn the other 50% and become decent at that. And so that's the whole journey this whole year. When I first started actually training for the tactical games, I started working out and shooting at the same time. And what I quickly realized after going to my first actual event in Utah was that's not where I need to start. Like I have the working out down just fine. I don't need to work on stress shooting. What I need to work on is the basics. How do I, you know, like you might laugh, but like how do I grip a pistol? What's a sight picture? What does a holdover even mean? How do I clean my rifle? Like stuff like that is basic, so basic to a lot of people here. But for me, that's how I had to start. So. After Utah, I spent the last, you know, six months essentially focusing on the basics. You know, how do I transition between targets? How do I pull a trigger straight back and not to the side? And so that's been a lot of uh, the journey so far leading to the Tactical Games Nationals here. So currently, I shoot an Atlas Hyperion uh, version two. Um, how I found Atlas, I actually just asked around and said, you know, I was shooting a striker foul pistol, which was a great pistol to start out with. There's nothing wrong with starting with the stock pistol. But I said, hey, I want something a little bit better than what I had. And obviously I probably jumped like three rungs to get there, right? <laughs> but I asked around, I said, hey, what's the best pistol on the market that I can shoot that'll fit me? Uh, that fits, you know, I want a big competition pistol. And I kept hearing Atlas a few times. And so I actually just hit him up and I was like, hey, I'm shooting tactical games. I'm not a Specific, you know, I had to let them know I'm not a shooting expert, right? I come from a completely different sport, uh, a good demographic of a sport, but I come from a different sport and I want to go shoot. I would love to shoot your pistol. That's how I kind of got um, plugged in with Atlas. And honestly, very similar concept for Ballistic Advantage. They're obviously a title sponsor of the Tactical Games, but they kind of hit me up. They're like, hey, we'd love if you shot Ballistic Advantage. And so I started shooting their uppers and lowers and just kind of fell in love with it. This is my rookie year. So I've been doing this. Uh, I've only been training for this in this year, so 2021, um, but a majority of this year, six months out of this year, I was actually boxing. Uh, and so I didn't really get to do a whole lot of shooting. So we've been boxing a lot this year, but the goal this year is, uh, man, I would love the podium. It would be good for me. I would love that. Uh, I would love to put forth a good foot on this, and then next year, come back in 2022 and, and just win it.